Here you go. Here's a book for review called The Little Orphan Girl by Sandy Taylor. What an interesting read. It's a historical fiction. It uh, has some really interesting elements, and the nice thing about it, it is also a romance. Let me read the book description to you. It's Ireland, 1901. The workhouse gates clanged shut behind us, and me and the mammy walked down the hill towards the town. I was six years old and leaving the only home I had ever known. When Sissy Ryan's real mother comes to claim her from the workhouse, it's not how she imagined. Her family's tumble-down cottage has ice on the inside of its windows and is an isolated, poverty-stricken village in the muddy Irish countryside. But when Sissy is allowed to help her neighbor calm Doyle and his horse named Blue on their milk ground one morning, Sissy starts to feel as though friendship could get her through anything. It's Combe who looks in on Sissy's grandfather when she starts in at the village school, and Combe who tells her to hold her chin high when she interviews for a position at the Grand Breton House. But in the vast mansion with its shiny floors and sweeping staircase, it's Master Peter Breton who captures Sissy's heart with his dark curls and easy laugh. As Sissy blossoms, as Sissy blossoms from a skinny orphan into a confident young girl, Combe tells her she's as good as anyone, and she begins to believe anything is possible. But not everyone with a kind smile has a kind heart, and Sissy doesn't know that further sorrow lies in store for her. When Sissy finds herself desperate, alone, and faced with a devastating choice, can she find the strength to survive? Okay, I gave The Little Orphan Girl four stars. It is from Booker and I do appreciate it. It was a for a blog tour that I did a couple of days ago. And here is my review. I found this to be a very emotional read. Here's a little girl who grew up in a workhouse. For the first six years of her life, she thought life was as normal as life should be. And she was very happy. and She had a very, very good best friend. Living in the workhouse, her name was Martha. One day, a woman referred to as the Mammy, takes her by the hand, leads her out of the workhouse, tells the little girl that herein her name is Sissy. Okay? Her life forever changes. She moves in with the Mammy and the Mammy's father. The Mammy's name is Maura Ryan, and there now her life has begun all over. Fortunately, Sissy is soon able to attend school and even church. Okay? Despite that, times were very hard, but she had something to hold on to. She developed a strong sh friendship with a boy named Combe Doyle. She was able to do milk rounds with him and become great friends with him, and it really helped her to get some kind of foundation in her life. At some point, she began a job working for a very rich family. Now, I was drawn into this very touching, warm story. It was really difficult for me to understand a poor class in that time in history and what kind of sad lives that people lived and, and people I'm sure still live today. The story takes gentle turns as hope begins to enter the picture. There's a long period of grief, then there's hope, and then that hope is snatched away again. Now, this story by Sandy Taylor is an evocative read. It brings readers to time when lives were really difficult and the nice thing about it, it does evolve into a very warm story. I will say that it was impressive. It really was. Unfortunately, the reason I gave it four stars, it, it did take me a long time to deal with the emotional upheaval that I dealt with as, while I re read the book. It also gave me a, a little bit of a slow start every now and again because several sections of the book, um, the, the book was written in Irish, Irish twang. Okay, so sometimes the dialogue was a bit stilted. Also, the little girl Sissy was seemed wise beyond her years, and some of the expressions that she and her friends used seemed a little bit advanced. So I, I kind of like lost my grip a little bit, but I'm glad that I stuck with it though, because it's a unique writing style for the author. It's written in this type of English, uh, Irish twang that I was not familiar with, and it helped me to see life from a different point of view from a different country, from a different time period, from a different lifestyle. Sandy Taylor is somebody that I will check out in the future. I think that she has a lot of hope and I look forward to reading more from her. 
Again, I want to thank Booker Chur and Net Gallery for this arc to review. Uh, the link for the review, I will try to remember to put it in the description, the link on my blog for the blog tour itself. Also, I will link the book to Amazon should you uh, decide to click the link to buy the book. Just know as an Amazon associate, I will get a penny or two towards future books because where do I buy? Books and coloring supplies. In any event, I hope that you enjoyed this book, but what's more is I hope that you enjoy the review itself. Rather, I hope you enjoy that, but I really hope you enjoy the book, The Little Orphan Girl. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.